but I could see how that it plays its role. It's playing its thing through whoever it's going through, which is all one. Yes. So just because the monkey mind is busy one day and then one day suddenly it's quiet, that's also part of the how it's channeling through part of this creation on right. this dimension playing its role. Yes, absolutely. Yes, okay. that too. Exactly. Too. Yeah, exactly. So if there is no you, okay, again, let's just, so there is no you, then who gets contracted and who dissolves into the oneness? Because there is no you. You don't have any control over anything. Yeah. Because, because there is no you as a separate entity. So it means that you do not exist. Ex exactly. Outside of a thought. It's a thought form that you picking up your identity in separation. Mm -hmm. So you don't exist. So who is getting contracted? Who gets identified with the mind or emotions? And who goes into these blissful moments or hours of oneness? Something... Yeah, yeah, it's some, the same existence that's playing this and experiencing this in different dimensions and degrees. I want to mm -hmm. be an asshole. I'm going to go and be bitchy, but that's the way it came through. Next minute, I'm. It wants to be an angel and be all lovey dovey, and it's like boom. It's the same. Yeah, but somewhat. it depends on your energy. It depends on your energy. Where your energy is vibrating is where it's going to be attracted to the bliss or to the separation, depending on where uh, you're vibrating. Uh, mm, you can say it, it depends on your energy, but you don't even choose your energy. Because you have no or, will. There's well, no if free you, will. Yeah, if you can choose it, then it's always going to be the goody one. It's always going to be the nice, compassionate, loving, tolerant. But how many times you're in situations you can't tolerate someone or it just drives you nuts? And crazy, it's every, you know, you experience that every day. You experience it from every level of life, from people around you to different fragments of, you know, uh, of life constantly. But there's and different versions that play out, right? Like one day your energy might stick around and get aggravated and get mad. And the other day you might have the energy to just say, you know what, I have somewhere to be and walk away and have a whole different day than you would have had, right? Depending on where you're already vibrating. Like maybe you meditated that morning and that one keeps walking and maybe you didn't and that one stays and gets in a fight. You know, there's yeah. different versions, right? right? Right, yeah. Right, Okay. yeah. But also what, who made you meditate that morning too? You know, even that is not, I, I want to be clear about this part with you, Rachel, so you don't get caught into this either. Okay, because you don't even choose that morning to meditate and just have this great energy or not meditate and, and uh, be very emotional about things. You don't even choose that. But if Some I cultivate people. the practice to always do it, then I've already it, chosen to be to meditate, right? It, it appears to be that way. This is where you need to be very, very careful. It appears that you're cultivating the practice. It appears to be. It, it's making you think you're choosing that. Well, for but me, it's the experience. There's a difference, right? Like you go through periods of life where you don't meditate and you experience that lower vibration and then you start meditating again and you're like, oh, I'm having, like you said, just such a higher quality of life, which is inspiration in itself to continue meditating every day, right? Yeah. But, or, or in the moment. Yeah. But what brings you to that point to understand it? Did you? Oh my did gosh. You... Study, study and practice. You right. know, I mean, choosing not to go hang out and drink on the beach, but choosing to read a book or study or in that moment of conflict, right. I've been uh, trying on. to meditate. 
Yeah. Hold on, hold on a second. What made you choose? What was the source of that choice? Oh, you're saying the guides. That's where the guides come in. Are we back to the higher self and the guides? Right? Well, <laughs> what I'm saying is you got to be careful. This part can really boost your ego and take you away from the truth where you want to get to. Because you're looking for freedom. You're trying to free yourself. Am I right? No. Am I trying to free myself? Is that yeah, the goal? No, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to set example for the rest of humanity. I feel very frustrated to be on a planet with so many beings that are so brainwashed and television and just all the old story. So I'm just trying to create enough of a enough of example that maybe I'll have enough other people to hang out with like you guys, but you guys, I don't know where you live. We're not hanging out in person. I would just like to be of a community that is more having the conversation that we're having right now, but every day and, you know, more times a day and maybe living on the same ground with this type of vibration. That's all I'm wanting to do. I don't know about the word freedom. I don't know about okay. that. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, yeah. can, can I say something, uh, please? Yes, sure. Uh, Rachel, I'm just going to mute you for the moment, okay? So there's Oh, I already your... muted myself. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, cool. It's, so if too many people are unmuted, it's going to disturb our recording. So uh, who is this? Andrea. Yeah, hi, Andrea. Hi. Um. I just want to say something. Uh, I would like to to show it to you people here, because I was reflecting about everything what we were talking here together, and I find this very important. Um, in the beginning, when I saw you, I experienced you. I was uh, connected to you over a special uh, uh, sense in my heart because I was I was feeling that you sense my energy with your heart even okay. when you were not even when you were not seeing me and I find this very important for all of us because we are talking 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 and I think we are talking here so much about everything about knowledge and so because the beginning is far away from us but the beginning is our heart together in one and there is where we feel ourselves and we must be able, like was what Rachel was saying before, she would like to go more in contact. I, I think it is now the time to do this kind of things, to release all the borders that you are this and you are this. Just, just uh, uh, do what is written in our heart, what we feel, what we sense, what we want to share, what we want to give, what we feel, you know, in our heart together, this this hard feeling because this is our nature and then a lot of explanation will fall away because we are coming back now to the beginning where we are all one and we are holding one another inside of us in our heart where we are and where we never leave we never leave from the heart of the divine we are the heart and this is the time now we have to sense us we are full of love we want to connect we want to be together as one. We want to move together as one. And I find this very important to recognize our full uh, divine heart, what we all have, you know, we want to share it. It's now time for us to come together in one, to feel our movement together, to, to carry one another, to hold one another, because we have such a uh, amount of heart uh, full heart what we carry from the beginning and it's now time we have to we have to share it you know because yeah. we are we all are uh, one part of it from this heart of of the divine yeah sorry for sorry for my english because i'm i'm living in germany my english is not so yeah. complex well i i appreciate it thank you for sharing you know, I think it's time because I can I can sense this 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 wheeling, this crying for being together by all of us. You know, this is the point. I think. Mm 